and I guess I'll get to... I think I'll do two more maps. I want to do my map. And I want to do a Skaki map that I'm pretty sure I didn't play if I'm reading the archive right. But I'm going to start with mine because I... I don't know. But yeah, so I, I released a map recently. Um, and admittedly, I maybe went a bit psycho crazy with it. <coughs> kind of, I wanted to make like a strictly runic map and then... I wanted to make this somewhat claustrophobic on top of that, and then I wanted to kind of goof around with trains a bit, just kind of experiment a little bit. I, I Through this map, I have figured out that trains are extremely flexible. I think really the only thing I don't like about trains is trying to figure out how their like paths work. Like, I'm still kind of getting used to that because it's like a bit weird. Um, but yeah, I made this map. I wanted this thing out like three months ago, and then I got like really caught up in detailing it. But yeah, so 226 enemies, seven secrets, and this should be fairly quick because it's my map. And this is the nerfed version, because I did... There, there's like a, you know, grenade pit at the end of this level. And I, I did nerf it a little bit, just to like... Make the timing a bit easier. I don't know. I had fun making it though. Maybe a bit of a polarizing release, but you know. I like a lot of the details in this. Like you can, you know, look up and you can see that. I mean, that's supposed to be a gold key, but you know, the, the, the light from the lava, yeah, it's fine. Actually, I don't want to play this on Nightmare. Yeah, fuck it. Let's suffer. Okay. That is the other thing, too. I, I really like a lot of the new copper changes for Nightmare. I think really the only one I'm a bit, I'm a bit finicky with is the, the zombie change, but, you know, it's fine. kind of part of the reason as to why there's no zombies in this map. I mean, I probably wouldn't have used them anyways, but I just don't like the idea of infinitely respawning zombies. I feel like that could break things. I know when I updated High Noon to Copper 130, all the zombies had to go because they kept, like, breaking stuff. And like it's weird because like I don't think it's a, I don't th I don't think the infinitely respawning zombies is a bad idea. But I kind of personally I think it would work better as like a, a spawn flag for people to enable. More than something that's just enabled by default on Nightmare. You know, I really don't remember why I put an Enforcer in here. I don't remember what the logic was. But 
Hey, I haven't played this in a hot minute. I'm probably going to be a bit rusty at my own map, so... It'll make the lift section really fun. night closet there, but um, as the message indicates, I had to take it out. For some reason, the knight just did not want to spawn there. I don't know why. I, I had him in the closet, and for some reason, he just didn't want to stay in there. He would like, I think he was like falling through the floor or something, and I don't really know why. It's like he didn't agree with the diagonal that's in there. And I thought about putting a secret in here, but then, like, I don't know. The way this is timed, I don't think a secret would have really worked with the uh, lava swimming thing. So this was a fun thing to make. I don't know. I'd never done like the ogre cage before, so I had to adjust this like seven different times because the gaps weren't right. Uh, apparently grenades need a decent amount of clearance to actually go through bars. Didn't know that. Also, I plan to do more with this area over here, but um, there, there was a bit of a problem here. I built this first, and realistically, I probably shouldn't have done that. So, yeah, this whole section kind of got borked. Secrets, uh, I feel like I'm missing one. Oh, no, no, I'm not. Never mind. Oh, 
channel, so this was a bit of a surprising pain. Like I said, I'm, I'm learning with trains as I go. I'm learning that trains in terms of path is a bit like finicky, but once you figure out how you want it set up, it's like not too bad. I don't know. I need to experiment more with trains. There's like a couple things that I want to do with them. I'm just not sure what yet. Also, I had a lot of fun with the spawns in this room. I had a lot of fun doing like, the silent spawning stuff. Even if it's like a fairly small thing. <clears throat> them do that before. That's new. Also, I want to do more secrets like this in the future. So for reference, this opens that over there. I really like this little sound cue thing for a secret. It's kind of cool. Kind of want to do more stuff like that in the future. this time. Mm. 
But yeah, I kind of like this little mm. this little sound thing to like guide the player to a secret area. It's kind of cool. Although I don't know how else I would use it. We'll, s we'll see what I end up using it for later. Now, I did consider putting a monster here. I decided not to. ditching the grenade launcher very soon. This, this lift so I did want this lift to move faster I ran into this weird problem where if I made the lift move too slow you know it got really really I mean to be fair it is kind of still a boring lift um, originally I had this as a door and I had to change it to a train because the door was giving me issues but I wanted this lift to move faster but I realized if I made this lift move any faster then suddenly it gets really really insanely hard. If I make the lift move faster than where it's currently at, uh, what ends up happening is the entire arena just gets flooded with knights. And that is a bit problematic. Also, I don't know why enemies like slide around on the lift. That's a bit... Annoying, but you know, probably didn't need to pick that up. That was probably a mistake. But yeah, I did want this to move faster. But yeah, like I said, I ran into a problem where if I made it move any faster than this, then it just gets absolutely flooded with knights. And that's really problematic with how they move on this lift. I, I have since taken a lot of notes on how I could probably improve this in the future. slide and it's like a fucking physics thing that I can't actually fix outside of making like the lift stop but then the items fall through the lift because well depending on the port it's weird some ports the items will fall through the lift if I make it stop and then other ones won't I don't understand it like quake spasm spiked can do this whole thing completely fine none of the items will fall through the lift on spiked and then Every other port seems to have issues with it, so I don't know. I don't know why Quake Spasm Spike is so different about that. Huh. 
Oh yeah, there's like a really funny anti-cheese that I ended up doing. Because, you know, a player could theoretically walk in all these faceplates that open up. There are spike shooters in every single one of them. Now, I think they're all wired correctly. There's a chance that one of them might not be, but I'm not sure. thing that I, I ended up having to nerf a little bit. Just a little bit. I still wanted this to be fairly messed up, but I, I did add some stuff to this. This is how I know I'm running the right version. Hey, a hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. Minus the hot dogs and horseshoes. Wonder what that could mean. Player aimed grenade shooters are interesting. I've um I'm not entirely sure how they work. I'm guessing when they fire it aims wherever the player's currently standing. So if you move, it's kinda hard to get hit by them. If you move in a certain way, I don't know. Like I did nerf this a little bit. I moved the timer from like three it was like th that was like a wait timer of 3, and I changed that to like 3.4, and that seems to have made it more tolerable. At least to me, I don't know. I feel like with it being slightly slower on how many times it fires a grenade burst, maybe people will see a pattern? I don't know. Also, I, I barred this off until at least two fiends are dead because, uh, noticed, uh, if, you know, if you immediately go in there after the lift drops, then, uh, you don't see that there's two, you don't see that there's like four fiends that are gonna come through those doors. So before I trigger that. You know, because every every map needs a good dope fish pit.
Yeah, I didn't really know what to put here, because, you know, this is literally at the end of the level. So I just, you know, put a rune there and created a little joke sequence. Because, I, like I said, I really didn't know what to put here. I kind of really ran out of ideas. That's everything. I don't know. I had fun making this. There are things that I, I did end up like taking some notes on like this. If I wanted to do like more lift sections in the future, I think there's certain things that I can take away from this to improve upon maybe. Like I do have one other idea for a lift sequence, but I might save that for later. I don't know. Thinking like something like this, but it's much faster and stops at various points. Huh. Now I just need to figure out what to do with the, um, the Kuhu map. Um, I think that's the next little pet project to work on. I don't think I have that in here, actually. Where is it at? Um, I mean, there's, like, also... There's also, like, this that I need to do. Yeah, there's also like this that I need to... So, I was gonna use Alkaline 1.2 to make this, but then I realized that um, a particular sequence I have is kind of really broken on 1.2. It like causes a crash. Apparently runner zombies are like super, super borked in 1.2. So I've, I've moved this to 1.2.2. Um, apparently if you jib too many of the runner zombies, they cause a crash. And it doesn't seem to happen here. It doesn't seem to happen on this version, as far as I've found. Yeah, I don't know, general changes to this, I guess. Um, a lot of this is, you know... Uh, like, I, I think I mentioned before that I've massively expanded the outside. I've added like a bunch of new custom keys to this, like custom key cards and stuff. Um, I think I showed that off, but I've also added a thing over here in case the player, you know, runs that direction. They aren't just immediately gonna, you know, die to that. I've actually... I've actually added something to it. Which is an alternate way to get to this secret. Fine, there's only like 900 monsters on hard, you know, it's, it's fine. 
I feel about this little like head bob thing when I fall at a certain height in 1.2.2 that's a bit odd oh yeah so this is a new thing I have added an interior to this building it ain't much but you know it works I might go back and like mess with the lighting in this though, I'm not sure yet. I think more flickering lights would probably go a long way in here. Cause I don't think I have any of the lights set to like flicker in here. But yeah, these guys. I guess um, they reskinned the runner zombie. I kind of wish that the original runner zombie was like a skin option, but it's fine, I guess. I kind of liked that at a glance you couldn't actually tell if it was going to be a regular zombie or one of these guys. But, you know, small thing. realized I'm almost dead. Is there any health around? Uh, there should be, right? Or did I already pick it up? I might have already picked it up. Thanks, Iron Whale. I'm I'm a I'm a big fan of the runner zombie. I've not tried the um kamikaze out yet. I actually probably should play like the main pack that that thing is in because I've not actually done it yet. What is it? Undiscovered something of the pharaohs.
I mostly need a gauge on how fast those think those guys can actually like run. Fun. I had a lot of fun making this like indoors, like indoor bit. I kind of went floor by floor trying to um, make somewhat interesting rooms. While trying to stick to the general theme of the map that is presented. This is the main reason that you end up going up here. There is a bit of a side quest going on up here. Which is what this um, attempt at doing like a, a wiring bit. It might be a bit too thick, but I don't know. Also, I really like, uh, just want to go back up here for a minute. I really like this view of the map. It's actually kind of, kind of cool looking. It looks really neat. You can like see a bunch of like stuff. I, I like this view a lot. It's really cool. I like nab a screenshot of that particular view. I don't know when I plan to have this out though. I need to go back to detailing the actual base. Right, where was I? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is kind of cool. I like this table. It's not much, but it looks cool. And then all that leads here where you get the um, plasma rifle and some lore. I don't know, it's a little side quest and I think the reward is justified for how kind of nuts it is in there. Pretty much all the energy weapons are in different secrets depending on different factors. Huh? <laughs> 
But yeah, unlike, you know, I do, and I actually... I actually do kind of want to keep the surface somewhat empty. You know, desolate feeling, I guess. I might change this, I'm not sure yet. I might change how the key interacts with this door. And from here, the base is pretty much the same. I think really the only thing that's changed is like maybe a couple of encounters and some detailing. Like I've changed out I think I mentioned this before. I've changed out the pipes. Because, yes, these were supposed to be pipes. I, I kind of had to hack them together really quick for Brutalist Jam 2. So they, they don't really look very pipe-like in there, but I've, I've since gone back and changed them around. And then this is different, I think. Yeah. I've, like, added stuff here. Look at this wonderful secret chainsaw. Definitely useful. But yeah, I started adding detail to this, and then I got caught up with the outdoor section. So now that I'm, I think I'm pretty much done with the outdoor section, I might add more boxes around, but I think I'm pretty much done with the outdoor bit. Um, I can go back to messing around with this. Hi. Like I said, I don't know when I plan to have this this out. I know I want this out before the other thing, which I'll show off later. Uh, but for now, I need to go back to what I was originally doing. But yeah, I I don't know. Like I said, there's there's things that I can probably improve upon with that map. Um. I've, I've taken notes, don't, don't worry about it. I want to end this on... I think a, a quoth map? Yeah.